Yeah, so top 2%. A lot better than I expected. I thought I'd be a lot lower. Um, I mean, I thought I wouldn't be... would be a bit higher percentage. Um, let's have a look. Yeah, when I had a four of my five leagues, all of them because the other guy had Grundy's. Um, so, Tom Stewart, great score. Ridley, it was a bit disappointing today. Didn't take as much intercept marks as usual. Main reason why I can't won. Pressure wasn't still okay. He's coming back from an injury. So he might be able to pick him up cheaply. Um, so it's good for non-owners. And Laird, and Laird has been a bit disappointing this year. So everyone's picked him. So it's not really a big deal. But you know, 75 is just not good for his price. Considering everyone's expecting him to be an absolute gun this year. Which is been good, but not great. Um... Jack Balls, yeah, decent. Just like the Gold Coast were. Um, his price still went down, so he must have had a higher break even. So, yeah, Bo is definitely happy with his pick so far. I picked him up a couple of weeks ago, but, you know, yeah, a bit cheaper than Shaw and a few other players. So, um, yeah, CJ, Jarth, whatever you want to call him. Disappointing, like Hawthorne were. Um, yeah, his average well this season this is probably one of his, I think by far his worst game. Um, you know, it's expected for a young player. He's not going to be as consistent as the older blokes, but you know, he'll work on it. You know, be good to gain experience from it. You know, don't know if he's going to be keeper this year. You know, we've all got bigger issues and CJ performing not well. So yeah, Kajiski, okay. It's going to increase his price a bit. Um, the thing is, the problem with Kuziski is he has to kick goals to score well, which is a, kind of a problem I have with him. He kicked a couple of goals in the first half, but after that he didn't do much. He was on like I think 50 or near it at half time, so has to kick goals. And if he does, it will continue to maintain his price. Chapman, yeah, disappointing. Losing money off him now. Might sell him soon. I can. I'm all. I don't know what St Kilda is doing with this pick. I don't know why I had him as an emergency instead of Chapman. That was silly. I'd be lucky my defenders played. Um, my defenders played. Um, yeah. I don't know what St Kilda is doing with Highmore and stuffing everyone around. So, I mean, look. I don't know what you to do with him. To be honest, you keep him. You probably leave him as a loophole for now. St Kilda played played well against Hawthorne, so. Probably will still will miss out. I mean, he was good in the first two rounds. St Kilda, I don't know what you're doing with him. Wasn't performing bad at all. So, yeah, St Kilda, please just bring him in. Keep everybody happy. Sam Walsh brought him in this week, and it was, seems to be a great decision. The main reason why I can't won today. Um, by far the best player, I reckon, at the moment. Well, I do have a few other players like Kurno, a few other players that did all right, but he seems to be the most consistent. So, yeah, he may have a hold a bad game now and then, though. Um, yeah, he's going to probably, might even win a brown load soon, I reckon. But he's definitely improved his ball use this year, because that's what stuffed him up last year with Supercoach. Oliver, decent. Not getting there with his extreme scores. as ridiculously high scores yet. Sitting there play North Melbourne, you expected him probably a bit higher. But yeah, one sixteen, we'll take that. You know, that's what you want from a, you know, a premium, premium player. Merritt again, all right. <sighs> Would have been a bit better though. It was disappointing in the second half. Had a great first half. Same, we just fall, we just fallen away today. Um, disappointing. I mean, yeah. Um, Brayshaw. Good result considering his side got smashed. I don't know what happened to Frio after half time. They just lost it. But Brayshaw did all right. So that's all that really matters for me anyway. And again, Torino, excellent stuff. Outstanding. 139. Can't ask for much more. Really. It hopefully keeps doing it. Best score this year. What more could you want? Powell, this, this guy is just outstanding. This young kid. 
one of the North Melbourne's better players, to be honest. He's just been outstanding. Been better than Gordon now, to be honest. Get that got out rid of him. Yeah. And Gordon had a f- couple of f- first good couple of good rounds, but after that he's just done fuck all. So Yeah. James Jordan, again, excellent stuff. Ninety one points. Great job. Glad I glad I kept him. Um, Scott. Again, okay. Had a good first half, but didn't do much in the second half. I mean, getting this, getting 60, keeping in for now, considering all the injuries we have and all these players who just aren't playing. Might, might have to trade a few. We'll see. I, mean, I don't want to do too many trades now, but if you want to get ahead now, sometimes you have to do it. Yeah, Scott, okay. He's getting a game. Go on. Now, this is by far the most disappointing. It's probably what stuffed me up from getting an excellent score and the reason why I lost one league game. I mean, if I had gone Grundy and looped hold someone else and get Grundy score, I would have won that game. We probably got in the top 1%. So, you know, you can't predict these things. He was playing the bottom side, Grunt, Gorn. You know, he was expected to dominate. And I don't know what his projected score was, but it was something ridiculous. And even I thought, nah, he's not going to reach. It's unlikely. I mean, playing North Melbourne, yeah, he could have, you know, could have got a couple of goals, you know. But North Melbourne played well for the first half. They'll be a pretty good job at North Melbourne, to be honest. Um, did better than what most people expected. So, you know, they hold Gorn well. But I suppose, you know, can't have a good game every week. But 63, at least get over 100, at least, you know. Anyway, I'm sure a lot of people in the same position. But those people had Grundy as captain or... Had the loophole, will have a huge advantage. So, yeah, that's just more luck, really. You can't really plan for that sort of stuff. See, we'll get another good score. Not as good as last week, but 100, we'll take it. Considering there's no other really good forwards this year, by the looks of it. Bolton, yeah, I'm glad I had him. All the pods that I have seem to be performing well at the moment, which is why I did well this week, I guess. Didn't expect to be in the top 2%. Um, yeah, so Bolton, glad I picked him. Considering he was looking to be a bit of a dud pick at one point when he got 20, but yeah, he's probably one of the best Richmond players at the moment, the last few weeks. Definitely in the last month, I'd say. You know, Martin's out, so he would. Yeah, Martin might come back in, but if he's out, Bolton probably dominate a bit more. Janahur again, over 100 plus, it's what you want. Made over 100k profit. Some people got rid of him. Glad I didn't. You gotta stick with him, you know. He, he performed really well, you know. Got up to 450, I think, or almost 500 when he played at rest. And, you know, you gotta do your research, you know. I know he hasn't performed well lately, but he can get those big scores. And do it consistently as well, like other forwards. Wayne, well, you know, a bit disappointing. Better than Gordon, no. I think just. Yeah, Wayne, you know, you know, he's made money, but he's going to start losing money, so I might trade him out. But with forwards, it's just you just have to keep him due to all the injuries and bullshit that's gone on with it. Rowe again, disappointing. So uh, this pick's just, uh, you know, I put a him in and he does bad, but when he's not, when I don't feel him, he performs well. So I don't know, with Rowe, he's just a hit or miss player. Glad I get rid of him because I just have to, can't be bothered dealing with the inconsistency. And. I don't know how to pronounce this coming from him, Atu. Yeah, made money off him. He's still quite a higher price for a rookie. Or well, not rookie, but you know, higher price rookie player. Made money, not the best, but I can't remember what Josh Farrow got, but I don't think he played that well either. So, you know, North Melbourne, forward in there. I mean, better than, done, done better than Ray. So, yeah, he'll probably increase more in price. So, yeah. Jones, excellent job, Jones. Probably should have swapped him for Rowe, to be honest. But the great game from Rowe, uh, Jones went today, and he was excellent in the first half. Yes, yeah, so looks like Waterman probably won't be getting a game now. Half that performance, he might, but you will see. It's sort of annoyed. Everyone's probably annoyed about that, but you know that's just luck. Can't plan for those things, but yeah. 
Overall, great week in the end, surprisingly, to be honest. You guys had a lot of pods that did well. And McRae and Steel did bad, so you can pick them up if you in the coming weeks, I guess, if you haven't got them, which I'll probably have to pick up one since it's killing me. You know, another good midfield, I'm probably just set up well for now. That department forward, need to fix that up, but I think if everyone else is in that position, 